Understanding the Jaguar's Diet, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, Jaguar's Diet. We'll break it down, understand its meaning, and see how it's used in different contexts. This is especially useful for English language learners looking to expand their vocabulary and comprehension skills. So, let's dive in and explore this fascinating phrase. Jaguar's diet might sound straightforward, but it's a phrase rich in meaning. First, let's understand the components. A jaguar is a large wild cat known for its strength and grace native to the Americas. When we talk about its diet, we are referring to what this animal eats. This phrase is often used in discussions about wildlife, ecology, and sometimes metaphorically in other contexts. In its most literal sense, jaguar's diet refers to the eating habits of the jaguar. Jaguars are known to be carnivorous, meaning they eat meat. They hunt various animals and are an important part of their ecosystem. Understanding this literal meaning helps in comprehending texts or discussions about animal behavior and environmental studies. Interestingly, the phrase can also be used metaphorically. In English, comparing something to a jaguar's diet might imply that it is selective, powerful, or has a strong impact. For example, a company focusing on a specific market niche might be said to have a Jaguar's diet approach in its business strategy, implying a focused and effective method. Let's see some examples. 1. Literal. The Jaguar's diet mainly consists of deer, peccaries, and sometimes fish. 2. Metaphorical. The new marketing campaign has a Jaguar's diet strategy, targeting only high-value customers. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, Jaguar's diet, in both its literal and metaphorical senses. Remember, English is full of such interesting phrases that can add depth to your communication. Keep learning and exploring, and you'll find your English skills growing every day. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.